Becca, and welcome to the Carriage House, a place where you can find comfort and cozy inspiration for your hearth and home. Today I'm sharing a little spring afternoon and night routine at our little farmhouse in the outskirts of Iowa. We're planting these lovely begonias on this beautiful spring afternoon. It's a little windy, but I don't mind the wind. Its presence helps me feel alive in some way. So I'm getting this bed in front of our house ready for planting with a little help from my husband and son. I made sure to remove all the weeds, then we plowed, turned the soil to ensure good air circulation, dampened it a little, and now we're ready to plant. I just love these begonias. Their deep scarlet color reminds me of long summer days and they'll continuously bloom once the cooler weather comes once again. So now that the flowers have been planted, I decided to come in, wash up, and start making the family dinner, and not forgetting to pour a nice glass of red wine to enjoy as I cook. And this week I planned to make a lot of sheet pan dinners because I knew it was going to be gorgeous outside this week, and I knew I wanted to be out working in the garden for most of the days. So I didn't want to plan any meals that were very time consuming because I'd probably be too tired, especially after taking care of a lot of kids at home. So tonight I'm making roasted asparagus, baby new potatoes with pork chops, and it's all simply seasoned with just a little bit of olive oil, seasoned salt, and freshly cracked black pepper. And again, I'll be cooking on one sheet pan, so very easy. It should be healthy, delicious, and easy cleanup for afterwards, so that's nice. And while the kids and my husband are outside, I'm going to take advantage of the quiet that's being captured in the kitchen at the moment. I'm going to just turn on some calming music to remedy the busy day, sip on my wine, and start making dinner.
So now that dinner's ready, I began to plate up everything. The smell of all the food that just came out of the oven smelled delicious. It was just very comforting. I added some freshly cut chives from our garden and sprinkled them on the food to give them just a hint of freshness to the dish. After I cleaned up in the kitchen, my husband helped Bohannon, our one-year-old, and gave him his bath, book, and bedtime, while I did the same with Gunnar, our four-year-old son. And I gave him his bedtime snack, a cup of milk, while we read the tale of Peter Rabbit. She's So now that the little ones were in bed, I decided to go outside once more and just plant the last bit of things in our garden. Fairy tale eggplant, sweet bell peppers, tomatoes, and a few other things. Again, I was able to capture a few quiet moments in the garden before heading off to bed and hopefully reading a nice book, taking a shower, or a nice warm bath to soak in. just wanted to say thank you so much and I hope all of you have a wonderful Mother's Day weekend and until next time please stay safe healthy and happy my dear friend <laughs>